we are on camera. Now, when my senior high school day, we're went in Tacoma, Washington. No, wait, wait a minute, slow down. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! I'm supposed to be still doing what you're telling. Oh, uh, okay. Today, blank that first word. <laughs> today, today we're at the Atlanta History Center. Uh, myself, Ed Woods, with Sue Verhoff, and we have the pleasure of interviewing Larry Lee Garrison uh, about his military life and life before and life after. Along with us is his wife, Tricia, and a friend, Doug Balin. Balin. What we'd like to do, Larry, is, is today, uh, we just want to talk, let you talk, and we, we Sue is going to be scribing everything down back there. And we do that for a reason. It's mm -hmm. because sometimes somebody may want to see something like, uh, when did you join? They can go right straight to the scribe in the mm. back, okay? Rather than sitting here listening to the whole tape thing. Okay. Uh, what we'd like to know right now, to start this thing is, when when did you, when were you born and what did you do in your early life? Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay, I was born in 1936 and uh, watching that was a good time. <laughs> some yes, people was. think, and some don't. It, but, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, we. I lived in Tacoma, Washington, and uh, my dad was does some made some good beer and wine in the in the uh, closet up, upstairs, and because uh, that was just at that time it was like that was done, <coughs> and. Uh, I lived with uh, find my dad and stepman uh, moved quite a few times. Usually, I moved with them and, until I got into high school. And uh, uh, what was your know. dad in the service? Is that why he moved so much? No, you, my dad couldn't uh, couldn't get in because he got gassed. I think when he was trying to come in, mm -hmm. and my stepdad had this uh, similar problem and he was a policeman okay very good uh, and in, in high school uh, you finished high school did you extend your education any further or go yeah. in the military out of high school or well I, I was in our in ROTC and I, that's when I got commissioned in uh, Seattle Washington and because uh, they didn't have a Navy ROTC <laughs> and I'm sure glad that because uh, I like the Air Force better. And uh, but let's see where, what else we want to see here. And you 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 were commissioned. What, yeah. When it, were you it, commissioned? That was in uh, in when I was in ROTC. It was in uh, in Seattle, and I got to one. <laughs> I was. I don't know what they call them these days, but I was uh, just at as low as you can get, even with the Navy. I was just, but it gave me a, it gave me a extended payroll. Uh, okay, you were in the Navy. Yeah. You you. Did I forget that? That was in from the, with high school. Mm -hmm. Uh, to help me get through you know, my years through the high school and uh, so on. Uh, I, but this is, I, I was in this Washington, Tacoma, Washington. They had a, they, that's where we're at, submarines, a submarine moment yet. Mm -hmm. And I, I just, so I, I went in that and uh, had a few banged, Chin, chins and uh, bang head, and uh, so. But after I got through, then I called like a high school, and went in. Actually, I I went to out of the out of the things, so, uh, and I 
that's when I graduated the first time, and they said, I'm not going to go up anymore. That's, so I went to Alaska and uh, found a coal, gold company, company. And uh, I worked there just a, at, uh, nine, nine hours a week and seven days a week. But it was and gave me enough time and we went on money to go back and to uh, my next year of go to college, high school. <laughs> Pardon me. And uh, I, I, it was gold. We were getting some gold, but mainly it was just dirt hard work. Just hard work. <laughs> yeah. And it, but it was pretty fun. And uh, let's see. <clears throat> When I came back from, uh, I can't remember this city from uh, from going to the, the anyway, pretty pretty far up in Alaska. That's from there, and then I went on, came home, and I said, I think I'll go back to school. And I uh, I saw that they were you know, signing up. And uh, to get to go to uh, some different classes, and I just walked in and did, I didn't ask anybody. I just signed up for them, and and uh, they signed me up. So that was all I got. <laughs> the rest of my lower hours, and uh, and then went to. Uh, my high school was that about it ended there, and I, when I went to my college year, it was a, in the in, across the mountains to uh, I can't remember this. Usually, the you call it was a cow college, mm -hmm. but I don't think they call it that anymore. <coughs> Pardon me, but they were got the good, pretty good training for the military there, and we. Uh, I, I did. I laid off one more year for uh, for a year and a half, fifteen months, and the. Uh, it, that was that worked for. What's the? Can't remember the. Uh, in eastern Washington, they had the. Not bombs, but the, made. Uh, can't say it. Uh, I worked with the. Uh, work, work, the this and. Do you want to take a stop and uh, I've got a ring. Okay. For the when I came back I, I worked at Hanford Atomic Works and uh, some guy had some pretty good days and some bad days. One of the, the good ones I go fishing, but the ones where it's not not as good is I, I couldn't go I couldn't take my shoes back that day. I couldn't take it home with me because they were uh, hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I, I took some some boots out of out of the place, and uh, you you did this while you were going to college. It was I know I took the took uh, that fifteen months okay. between my first and second years of that. And that's when I did that. Did the uh, same time frame though? Yes, yes, absolutely. And then when I got back, I went back to uh, on the the. Uh, I then I was going to get solid ROTC. I got some. I think I was. I well, I other things I did then. Mm -hmm. I uh, went. Uh, 
I started out with the walking and running and it just see, and uh, then I thought, geez, this is hard. This is no fun. So I went up and signed up with use the uh, rifle team, and uh, well, that was that was much better. And of course, it was and it was all mixed, and there's some of the people, some women in it too. My girlfriend was in it, and she committed suicide with her own rifle. So, but that was when they were uh, <laughs> they were at that the time as they were when they were just starting the uh, one of the teams of that the substancing substance that uh, this girl. Yeah, he was uh, taking, and she took too much or something, and uh, I didn't even get the gun. But uh, and I uh, in now then then I the rest of my higher gold, higher gauge gold gold gauge I. Uh, which was at Washington State. That's where I would turn them to, to, to how to fly an airplane. And uh, trying to see some of the language. Well, now this was when you was going to Washington University. Eastern, yeah. And uh, when you graduated from Washington, am I? I'm not leading you. Mm -hmm. when you graduated from Washington. <clears throat> yes. You, you go into the Air Force at that time. Yes, I got commissioned while it, when they graduated from high school, college. College. And uh, I went in through pilot to through the training, and uh, some, something's got to be in there in, in between, but it'll come pretty soon. <laughs> that was about probably 1959. Yeah, it is. Yeah, about nineteen fifty nine. Yeah, you you went in the you went in the Air Force as a pilot. Yes, commissioned as a pilot. Yes. Where did you Where did you first start at at the Air Force? Down in Texas. At uh, tell us a little bit about your early military career. Well, did a lot of. Actually, I went to different. Places where I got this training, I did in uh, Missouri, Missouri, Missouri. Uh, can't remember what that was. It was a small. These were about half a year, and then in the, another one. <coughs> I'm, I'm sorry. And. Uh, then I went to the for my had another half of of try of learning how to fly. I went through down south Laredo, mm -hmm. and uh, and that was that was when I had, I had enough money to to get a car. <laughs> And, that was uh, your first car. Yeah, my yeah. best car. And that was, uh, I think that was a uh, one that was 1941 type. But I, well, I had I had an old another one other than that because I had a horse, I had horses and race horses and things like that and uh, rabbits and <coughs> that kind of stuff. We laid it, but it turned out. Uh, that that was good too. <laughs> a lot of people thought I was had a terrible life because I was had to do all this working and all that stuff and handling the animals and so. On. But <coughs> good for me. And but and then in, at Randolph Air Force Base is where I got my you know, work my training for the KC ninety seven. And that's a, uh, where they pump uh, fuel 
to from the uh, what we we go and f fill up our tanks with all the stuff and go out to the bombers and uh, fill them up. We hope they can make it across the mountains. <laughs> I mean, the uh, lodge to lodge. lodge you, you were a pilot. Yeah. On the. Uh, Fuel on the tankers. Yes. Filled up the other the bombers. Yes, that's and correct. Did you did you were they used to fill up any of the of the small smaller oh yeah fighters yeah fighters you bet any good experiences on that well interesting one when I was, we would fly at night a lot mm -hmm. and it was uh, one dark night and uh, overcast. And we had a, a bomber that came in from the, the high Thailand, not Thailand, but by the hard country. And uh, he, he kept, that guy that kept coming up to the, uh, see if he could make it, and that good he could make it, he kept dropping off the boom. Uh, you understand that? Okay. And, uh, <clears throat> and then eventually, he just says, I give up, and he went back down and landed, and I think that was the end of his flying days, except at least that kind of flying. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I lived in that, and during that time now, in, uh, in, uh, I, uh, we had two hurricanes while I was in, where, Bermuda? Bermuda? And uh, one of them was we flew around it. And the other, and with the other, with second last one, uh, we flew right through the eye of it, and that was interesting. I got in the middle and look up and down, and I, I don't say now which way do I go? And uh, it was we went up. No, we just broke through because we didn't have a two. Uh, type of airplane that flied, flew very much. In fact, this was the KC-97 and the 135, I think it says, it uh, can, could uh, go on, going up and from, it's for 20, 20 50, 50 miles or so away and uh, refuel and have used less than, than we did. So, that was that was thing there. We had uh, that was the commander. The commander the uh, with something with when we had the crisis in the uh, in the Cuban Cuban crisis. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, we uh, we did a little thing that was interesting. <clears throat> and it was the day before uh, we, I knew anything about it, I got a phone call from somebody in the States and said, says, don't, talk, don't, tell any, don't talk about this so-and-so. I says, what the hell's that? I don't, never even heard of it. <laughs> yes, so, so, but as soon as I, after he said, I said, okay, I won't, the door, rang, I mean the phone rang. And I was, I went off uh, in the, to the, to get in the, what does it say, it's, to get in, get into the area, <laughs> anyway. And we had uh, the times, areas where we stayed when we were going, and going to run the flag and we did a lot, did a lot of that, but in, uh, and then, the, but we were the one thing that happened. We were the most the, the airplane, the airplanes we flew, a uh, was the best one to go out and look right for those Russian uh, ships that with the bombs in it. Well, so we did, and the way we did it, we went. There was 15 in our outfit, and they, uh, we just taxied out. And they didn't say a word to anybody. Not to, didn't talk to the tower, didn't talk to anybody. 
And we just uh, took off and we flew out to our designated uh, search area. And it was near uh, the lo near lo lodges. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that where that is, but that's out in the some bunch. Any our, our our area was was about fifteen area uh, square to uh, two, and uh, so what we and then when we did that. <clears throat> we didn't the, the, uh, didn't have the equipments that we had to, in his days. <clears throat> I'm sorry. And uh, so we but we'd we'd find we a lot of we found a lot of them, and we'd uh, climb we'd fly down there alongside of the hull of that of the ship, and we'd get the speed it was speeding at, and the. Uh, uh, and the angle it was going at, where it was going, which direction, and uh, we'd we'd uh, if it was quiet, they we'd come around again. But if it wasn't quiet, then we, they'd they'd uncover their guns. Their <laughs> so we didn't come back around. And uh, one guy, one person uh, in the. Uh, ship that we were watching. By the way, when we got down flying in the uh, alongside of the Hulk, it didn't indicate that it was above uh, above uh, what uh, water, <laughs> and uh, so we watched. We had to do it by eyes, and the one with the, the one. Yeah, the ship that I said. Uh, he was. There was one guy that we flew by, and uh, he slept sleeping on a hatch, and uh, he. We watched him because we were going right at that time, and he heard it, and he jumped up and jumped in the, through the hatch, and uh, then he come up, out over there. And pull the hatch closed. <laughs> and I thought that was sort of neat. And then, and in, uh, and when we got through, oh, we saw the same ships turn around different directions sometimes. And uh, you can figure out what you want to do, because we weren't going to let them get to <laughs> out of areas. And uh, the next, the next day, we were back and. And then, and then the news and stuff. Well, we got ahead of brief, our briefing with our uh, colonels, and uh, he said that uh, the Russians reported this big, this big bomb bomber was keeps was coming right out the stick, flying right over us and all that, and and uh, and they had two uh, two bombs. Well. One in each wing, and uh, and it had a big uh, boom on the on his tail on his back, and I thought we it was sort of, we laughed at that because that was we knew what it was. That was just our airplane. That's the way it looked. <laughs> so that was. Did you did you carry any munitions when you were on any of those observation trips? Well, it's just a pistol. <laughs> not on, not as for that, but other times we, after that, okay. that what we did, what we did there, we went up the Labrador area, and uh, it was pretty bad weather, and we were getting ready to go uh, escort the bombers to Russia if we needed to. Because what they did was. The, uh, the the bombers they, uh, are, were told that if they needed our fuel, this is high in, in the high in cold water of the, of the uh, mountain of the 
from from Labrador. Good. And uh, we when we landed when that that, that night, it uh, we couldn't even turn off. The, it was all icy and slippery, and but we worked our way with one guy holding the throttle here on the side, another one over here, and and moving off of the ramp, and they, we and we just blanked the, uh, the the airplanes, and we had two. That was in it was bad because two young guys that were plant uh, giving the uh, front front aisle of the chalking it is calling it and uh, but he took a shortcut and he walked right right through in the the, the uh, they. The wings, wing, not the wings, but the uh, wheels. The not the, I mean, the what? Propeller. The Propellers, yeah. That that, that hit had that uh, happened two times when May and meant, and that's that sort of makes you. <laughs> uh, this was this was during the Cuban crisis. And yes. You finished up the Cuban crisis, and after between Cuba. Did, how long was it before you, I noticed in your information, you flew combat support missions in Vietnam? Well, yes. Okay. Am I stepping uh, ahead? or? Is well, it? I was trying to think, and it said, uh, no, mm -hmm. that's, a, that is, that's a good step, let's see. Mm -hmm. We went to, we moved, got, because we closed then with, with the, air, the place we were staying. Mm -hmm. We were well, flying out of, so we went to uh, California. Okay. And I think that's in there. Mm -hmm. And we, then it was we had uh, just can I can we have a look at this? Kind of which airplane we were flying then? Uh, he's one twenty four. Uh, one twenty four. Yeah, and uh, that was a well, yeah we started. I was that at that time. And we every all around the United States, uh, we hauled and we worked with the, uh, <coughs> uh, anybody that like the army and that they uh, we'd carry position them and if necessary. Mm -hmm. And uh, we then we but we also the, the speaking for Maria, uh, we took picked up from uh, the middle middle of the country is great seas what's it dry sea what's uh, Anyway, which there was a place where there's that was one of the places where they would stock the bombs for all of like uh, I think this was then probably for number two or three uh, wars, and uh, so we we hauled, and we, they said, oh, we don't have a shortage, <laughs> and and at that time they said it. We were we were uh, just one one an hour at least one load of a lo going to Vietnam, and you never heard of that. <laughs> but that was you, you, you flew uh, you flew munitions to Vietnam and you also flew troops to Vietnam. Oh yeah, there yeah, yes. That, that's fair. Okay. Yeah, we picked so in, on one flight out of uh, uh, Hawaii. The, the uh, we were waiting to. I think I'm not sure. What, sometimes we get turned around mm -hmm. from. Oh, we're going to go be one day from home from the <laughs> where we live, and but the, then but we were. They when I went to the our airplanes, we thought we would be going to the states. The a, uh, Marines, a group of Marines were coming there, and. Uh, I always mention, uh, check the uh, 
airplanes good and safe and et cetera. Well, when I went to look, make a look, look around, I'll, I had been, I had been just inert uh, again parts and parts of, or whatever, but it wasn't people. And then this the, 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 this marine boss says, "I well, you can get out there and get loaded. You just get those on that airplane, and you you're gonna take you right straight to play coop." <laughs> And uh, I, I just said, no, <laughs> we got to get some uh, uh, face masks in case you need it. You know, that's, the one that's otherwise it's not a safe flight. Mm -hmm. And uh, boy, he, did, he was pretty mad at me for pretty while. <laughs> but it came, we got more. And another, and then when we land, landed, play coup, they, uh, some of the guys was carrying their uh, golf clubs, and but when they moved out, went out the back of the airplane, they had to get to get the gain their guns gain gummed, loaded, and we, they walked right into uh, the war, and uh, that's some of the things that are interesting and <laughs> didn't play golf. Fighting? I said they didn't play golf, did they? No, I don't think so. No. They just uh, when they went through that uh, door, they throw those away. They took they took them away. From the guy and somebody probably got a good gear uh, check of. Uh, I noticed uh, she flew a, a C one forty one as well. <clears throat> yes, I went from the uh, when they when they went then when that airplane came out mm -hmm. one forty one. I uh, that was a, well, yeah, it was that was the one that was. More that so was actually right over in here that we they made it, and uh, I was went and pick, I went out and picked up out picked up one of the earliest ones to to take it to California, and uh, so then we kept doing it. <laughs> and the uh, <coughs> sometimes they. Uh, the, let's go back one. The one in the one airplane state type be, before that. The one twenty four. Yes, and that's that was a nice airplane, but it wasn't can't can't couldn't fly very high, and it's not very good to, uh, equipment to navigate. And uh, various things caused problems because of that. But anyway, when we <clears throat> quit flying the, it at yeah, that airplane. Then I went to the next one, the 41. I said it wrong. And it, uh, that was when then, that was the first time I, I went in, there was, there was, there was a, some war going on around Play Coop. And when we took those guys in, I, uh, the guy that, in my right right seat, used to, it had to be in my before that it was my other seat, front seat. And I was pretty tight coming in short because there was a lot of fighting going on in all the way around play coop. and uh, yeah, but it's what it, as we say that it's it's. Mostly is shit eating and mist, and uh, what else was there? Oh, <clears throat> the uh, on that with the with the plaque, or your pre before, I was on a flight that had uh, brought one of the loads I made back from the U.S. Uh, on the way back. And it was night, it was dark, black, and then uh, raining, and we uh, we were heading back towards the Philippines, but we hadn't gotten off of Vietnam yet. And uh, I, looked, I looked out the window and I says, oh, look at all these streaks going through here. <laughs> and it was tracers. 
mm-hmm. going through right through the the, the uh, engine, number three engine, and the uh, on the right side the number three engine, and didn't even hit it. Didn't take any paint out. So and that's the way kind of like my my bombs. I mean my fights and stuff like that. But, uh, okay, what do we more about? We don't want to talk no, about. You, you, you're. In, do you have any any? Uh, uh, you just had a real interesting story there about being shot at in your C-141. Yeah. Did this was this a common occurrence going in and out of Vietnam? Uh, usually, it's uh, they missed because what we did the going in short. When I got it took in in the 140. Uh, I mean the, the caribou. Uh-huh. That airplane it was it could go into any little field. Field I, I landed it in a uh, golf grass one time, and uh, I think I, we we were flying in and out of those short fields. Seventy. They, they flew. They flew on short fields real easy. That's it. Yeah. Really, yeah. And uh, it was we had to fly into seventy-five of those, and uh, I was uh, in. I was the instructor to and teach, and, and I was so one of the one of the guys from they, these guys are take them coming in from the yeah you, yes they put them through training and in, uh, in the Philippines <clears throat> and then uh, I'd get what was I starting oh that I that and then I. The, all the worst for fields, I had to check them out, take them out, because was, that was my job. Because some of those guys, they, like I said, they, they were, they, it's the first time they've been doing any flying other than in instruction. And uh, so, on that. But, uh, <clears throat> but, we, but when I was in the KC, no, in the Caribou, I uh, I flew one short flight to that went from Pleiku to the border, and uh, yeah, you know the batter, the border, <laughs> uh, and uh, we had a, just an empty load of don't know what, but uh, when they took copped up, we all we always our, our techniques we had. When we landed, we'd take off, we'd right, go right over the airport and then cut our power and and land and uh, open the back door, dump every we had, and we were right off sometimes. It didn't even uh, stop I saw it. that plenty of times. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, uh, uh, but then I got, got one from that, that, Group that we loaded up. I, I don't know. Maybe I don't even know how many of them. But it was a bunch of Vietnam, our Vietnam armies, and uh, they had their weapons with them, and they came got came on, got on, and and they didn't even have the. I didn't even put down the seats so for them. They had to do it as soon as we got airborne. Then they then they could move around a little bit. Well, I could see. Like who? Geez, it was right there, <laughs> and uh, it. Uh, and I was flying a little lower than I was supposed to, and I took, and it, we we had then as a fifty caliber mm-hmm. came through, and went through came through through the bottom of the airplane, and uh, didn't. Uh, we did, we did. We came up through the bottom. Didn't hit anything. Through the floors. Didn't not nothing. And on went through and out. Not a not, no damage. No hit anything. Anything. I was uh, lucky, <clears throat> and I like to be lucky. And uh, this uh, this says you had uh, a little over seven hundred combat hours in Vietnam. <coughs> I I don't think that's right. I think it's more. You had more. 
Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. And you had seven campaign tours. Mm -hmm. You were in seven different campaigns. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, uh, where did the where did you fly the the C one forty one from to and back? You you didn't. They didn't stay in Vietnam, did they? Uh, no, no, no. They came back. Right, we came back. Came in back. They, they I, I, they, they, uh, took wounded back and dead uh, people and uh, everything you can think of came back. Uh, and I, I remember taking uh, some very bad damage people uh, of, of, uh, the, and with a bunch of nurses and uh, they, they were taking care of it. And we flew back from Vietnam, back up through the Filipinos, not Filipinos, and then on up above there, and down across over to America. And uh, they'd hit, then they'd take them to the hospital. And uh, I had, uh, <clears throat> when I was, uh, Making a, a flight between there again between Plaku and uh, and the east, where what's the island? Hell, it was a, that was a book. Yeah. Anyway, they uh, yeah. a couple of events. And then one I I was flying. Up over that, uh, yeah, I'm, it's in there. The the name of the anyway, the plot special special forces. Mm -hmm. uh, call I was flying overhead. Not that not that they did not because they don't fly, but they uh, called us and said, "Hey, uh, airplane flying over so and so," uh, and. I would like to see it, because you would recognize it if you... <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, so we, we landed, and there was about there were 14 uh, badly... Cause the, 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 uh, the bad guys had just left, and we uh, jumped those, put those guys on, threw out a load of beds that's what we had on for cargo <laughs> and we just threw them out and put the the uh, injured guys and uh, they they get, they got on and didn't even just we didn't wait bother anything about it because we didn't have any place to take care of them or anything we just so we just take we were going to take out there's a base uh, that has a uh, yeah. something of a place that they could make good at, and that would have been, would have been a um, a. You might done it. No, you're oh, fine. Yeah, oh. <laughs> and uh, and that reminds me because when I looked over my shoulder, it was solid. Wow. Clouds and we couldn't go through it. And that's it. Then over here, that's my home base. And uh, this, that isn't why I when I did it because I, I wouldn't have done it. Come in. So I flew back into Benoit, and uh, they. I landed, went up to the their little uh, hospital, and. They come look at at me, hollering at me, and they, you can't do that. You can't. You leave all those guys here. We don't take handle them and all that stuff. I just my my crew and I took all the injured guys and put them on the ramp, and we taxied off. And I don't know, but at least they got cooker cooker uh, attention, and. Uh, Oh, that, I guess where I got the divert, uh, the, the, 
what's what my DFC. DFC, yeah. When you when you when you flew in Vietnam, uh, you flew C the C uh, what one twenty four and C one forty one, and those were your two main aircraft that you flew. Is that correct? Well, and the, and the caribou. And the caribou, caribou. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Well, being an old Navy on the ground <coughs> guy, I didn't know what a one twenty four was. I oh thought it yeah. Been, I thought it may have been a caribou. <laughs> Uh, in a, after Vietnam, what was your story after Viet? What did you do after Vietnam? You, you still main, still was a pilot. Let's see. Is this is this after we after we got, yeah, I left I guess, Vietnam? Uh -huh. Well, I did some more Vietnam. Okay. After we, when I I, I went out by way of uh, of evacuation uh, to the hospital. In, uh, in Texas, because I just had some problems. I, it turned out it was only a, what do you do, something like something in my stomach. And then, uh, but I think that what had happened is that I went uh, to Seattle, not Seattle, but uh, Texas, and spent three months there, and uh, and I wanted to just keep flying. One of those things. So what I had to fly, but uh, I didn't. I, they, I, when I got back again there, I went back to 141. And it was 141. Yeah, and the, I was flying, fly, flying some more that same Vietnam uh, flying. I uh, see. I got quite a bit of work of uh, in they call it inspector as an inspector and inspect the different why well, make sure they're doing safe things and done and um, yeah I tied I I just one of the it kind of up in several times here that I was hauling nu nuclear weapons. I, uh, they, I went through the, kind of the schooling for it, a bunch of them, and, uh, and then I continued in inspecting it. And, uh, Tell us about Panama. What do you remember about Panama? During the wartime or here, or, or after time? Uh, <clears throat> well, no, I, I, uh, I was based, based uh, to Panama. And I, when I went, the way I got down there, I went to the Coast Guard school. And I, I guess it hit top of the list on that one. Because <laughs> not those posties that I get. <laughs> But, uh, and we came to back to Panama, and I was the, um, my, the, the responsibility to get what the, um, this, give me that picture. Okay. Yeah, these are my some of my. Oh, here, if you don't mind, let me go back a little bit. Uh, I want to, to say where the way distinguished flying cross, Viet Cong. Well, this is a, the one that we're on. Oh. You may recognize this. So, and, and uh, that's the... Uh, 
I worked with those, and I flew thirty. You, you flew in support of the DoD with a space mission. Yes. What did you do? I. Uh, I, I see you didn't go to the moon. You came back. No, they wouldn't let me go to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was saying, I think it was 15, 13, 15. And uh, I was, those, I've got a coin from the first one that they, that they mm -hmm. went on. So, and, uh, but I purpose meant to be is uh, I get uh, I, I hoard I set up uh, easily we'd get th thirteen air uh, air other, there were other airplanes down in play two play play two and uh, we so there we would put a bunch of C one thirties and uh, that's that way, if, if it, one of the uh, wake of those is, comes through <coughs> and uh, needs our help, we would be there. I, and one of the times I had a uh, made a, they, they made a pick a high, a high pickup from they call it and. Uh, Mary, if you want to hold that up for the camera, no, oh, yeah, you'll be able to see. Hold it up, kind of underneath yeah. your chin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Turn it around. Turn it around. There, there you yeah. go. There you go. Well, uh, this is a. Uh, you know, I was working on supporting the bomb shots, and uh, we'll see which one this was. Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins, and it's presented to me, and uh, here, and uh, we done it. <coughs> wow! A uh, when we every every one of the launches, I'd have to go. I would go around to the army bases, <coughs> and what else? Anyway, I know them in our army, and they, I made sure they they're following uh, what the what a plan that that uh, supposed to. But you flew. I'm, I'm trying to understand. Okay, <clears throat> you flew while the mission was being launched. Oh yeah. And during recovery. No, no that's not that's, okay. He's, just launch. Launch. Okay. Yeah. Launch. Okay. We, we don't. The launches we don't want here because <laughs> they the recovery <laughs> is somewhere else. Yeah, they're out half in the. Yeah. Okay. Good. You know, that's uh, interesting. I, I've never never talked to anybody oh. that's done that. Also, I noticed on here uh, that you uh, served in the uh, worked on the Six Day War. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Israeli in support of Israel. Yeah, I think that was what it was called. But uh, it was mostly people that on, the, on the East Coast that was supporting that. Mm -hmm. But uh, my boss said, told me to <laughs> go over, go over and find out where all our our guys are going, because because the, the, the guys that the East, East Coast that were supporting that they uh, they wouldn't send it back. So he asked me to come and, and do it. And I saw I went through the lodges, the, uh, and then we f we flew. I flew in a t few times. Then to the went in with supplies for the for the uh, good people over there, and uh, hmm. And I noticed. Uh, Go out it with roses. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed you received in your awards, you received the Distinguished Flying Cross. Yeah. Which is pretty neat. Yeah. Uh, that's that's when we went in and got those. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty neat. I like that. Now, what did you do uh, in the latter part of your military career? I noticed you, looks like you got out of the, you separated uh, somewhere around 1980. Is that? 
1980. Okay. Uh, what did you, you, you got her, or she got you, I guess, right? She got me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but I, at that time. So you weren't married at all during the service? Not that part, no. Okay. And But I was doing then most, an awful, a lot of transmitting the nukes uh, around the world, around the places where you know, the peoples and <laughs> didn't know it was bad. That they were okay, and I was. Uh, I had one time. I one got uh, another airplane. I was. There's this what they call us the two man. Two man uh, requirement. And you can't be in the same. You have to have to have two people in the same group with a gun. Goom. <laughs> Pardon me, with the uh, by with mook, nukes, nukes. I'm sorry, and uh, I was flying uh, in this airplane out of uh, the east, the base on the east east case coast, coast, and uh, I jumped on and to, to, to see make sure they're doing it right. And they had a few nukes in there, and uh, you saw I was looking to see who the second guy was. And there wasn't any. <laughs> so I, re I, I, I act, had to act as the second plate, mm -hmm. so there was, for safety. But when I landed, I, uh, I re recorded uh, the, the guy that was the third guy, because the second guy. And uh, but that is a very serious re report. I found out that it was going straight to the, to the, uh, what's the hell, uh, Pentagon. And no, no, above, <laughs> to the, and uh, there's a, and then, and that guy that was, it's in charge of that kind of stuff at uh, at the base that, that I was flying out of. He, man, he, he I didn't make a friend. <laughs> he, because he, he was up going up for a full colonel, or, or maybe above that. And uh, he come, and he kept telling me, I'm, that's didn't wrong. It's wrong, and all this stuff. And the guy, he, that guy, called the uh, the base at the base that uh, to try to help get out of it, and uh, didn't do it. But he didn't like me. He still doesn't, I don't think. And he did get promoted because I found that when I then after all of this. After I, I did all of my nuke stuff all, all over, uh, then uh, I, when I start talking on it, one thing and I forget the other, or, or think of room, think of another. But uh, oh, I know, I became uh, got the to, to take. What was it? Was it? Well, it was, I guess maybe it was the nukes to keep watching, watching mm -hmm. all that stuff. And when uh, I came with them, I got assigned it to the Pentagon. And uh, I walked in. It, it, you can't believe it. If, if you haven't been to the Pentagon, you, it's just everybody that goes there. Is going to get their, to get the better job and the party and stuff. And uh, first, and then the one thing that I did was I got to called the. Uh, well, I had to go to the chief, the top top, top Air Force guy. And uh, he told me, to, no, first of all. He went in his, in his room, this guy's room. The first guy I saw 
was the, <laughs> that guy that I busted with the, with the, uh, the stuff. So, and the funny thing about that, that what particular, it, he said, first he comes up, who's your Bob Garrison? Because <laughs> he, this is what you wonder why, but I never did have any trouble with him. Nightbury reports were pretty much going into the uh, president. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh well. <laughs> and, and you, you exited the Air Force, you. Well, I met my wife, and she was learning how to speak military. And uh, a few things there. Say, so, I think some of the funniest things I saw, I heard, I was busy. I was pretty busy in my job because I was supposed to be. Uh, taking care of the uh, special operations and and the uh, C5. And uh, so I, I had this lot of, but <clears throat> it uh, took a lot of time. Did you, where did you go to work when you got out of the Air Force? I went to... Uh, Lockheed? No, I didn't. Oh, you said C five. I was just yeah. I, I had already checked. I checked it. Uh, I went with well, actually, Midway Airlines. You know, familiar with it? It's a and then and then went from from in that. Uh, what's my after that, Doug? Hmm. How did you get to Midway? Well, I got to, oh yeah, I got to, <laughs> how did I get to Midway? Because I, it just happened that uh, I just I got tired of the stuff in the event, in the camp, in that, in that big round building. And uh, I, uh, I think they heard it again. <laughs> the uh, Midway. I called them, and I thought, because I, and I didn't even know who well, was working there. But uh, before, again, what we say again? Good. Midway. Yeah, at, at Midway. I called, that's called Midway, and I was on the phone, and uh, I, and, uh, I just, oh, I, what I said was, I, this is, I'm Larry Garrison, and I'm going to see if I could get a work for Midway. And uh, I started in the background then, Larry Garrison, is he is in there? And he was this flight ops guy, chief. <laughs> And I'd gone through all kinds of stuff for getting into the see, you know, how to learn the clothes and all this kind of stuff. And, and then I said, can, don't you, can I come in and sign, seen something? Or, no, come on, we're gonna, next week or no, whatever, right away, you can, uh, you're on top of the list. <laughs> and he said, he was a nice guy. <laughs> he got me in one of the military deals. I, uh, there's a there's a grant. They were what's the name? What is the? Uh, that's not in there. But there's a fraternity. There's a fraternity that. Um, military, and it's supposed to be earned. And uh, and I was I went to that that guy that got helped me get that in, in there. And then when I went to that those uh, places here, when I was moved here, 
they they ordered yeah you know, they let the let the guys out of you the younger younger kids and stuff I quit it's no it's no honor to it to me I'm not so I feel and uh, but they I guess they needed more members and uh, I'm sure there's others I can uh, how did you uh, how did you wind up in Alpharetta, Georgia? Well, through all your travels and everywhere you've been, and all of a sudden you're here. Well, that lady's from see Alpharetta. <laughs> no, well, he so we have their kid daughters there, mm -hmm. and so we we moved there, and now we've got some more kids. <laughs> Mercy. Yeah, he's uh, there's something there I was going to say. Well, Larry, uh, I have to be honest with you. I've done a lot of interviews, and uh, you're the first person I've ever interviewed or been in t around that's done some of the things you've done. I mean. One guy may have done this, or one guy may have done that. Yeah. Uh, you're the first person I've ever been around done it. Seems like Six Day War, the yeah. uh, DOD, uh, Vietnam, uh, Cuban crisis. Uh, very honestly, you're. If just, I got got just, I have seven, I got seven. Bill, uh, what do you call it? Uh, seven campaign stars on your Vietnam ribbon. Yeah. I'm impressed. I'm just impressed to be in the same room with you. Okay? No. Uh, I don't. Do you have anything else you would like to add? Oh yeah. <laughs> What's Doug? Tell us about your last flight when you retired from United, and you had a special passenger. Yeah. I at, at that time I was flying. Uh, it was. Well, wait a minute. Now. See, you didn't tell me you went and flew for United. See, I asked I you what. I asked you what did you do after you got out of the service? <laughs> well, so you, I didn't got to it. To it. <laughs> you didn't tell me you, you you got you went somewhere in Midway, you know, and all of a sudden now you're a pilot for United. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it turned out that I did it when I went to to my retirement. Okay. And on my retirement. Uh, you know, you, they do it, you know, with a fire, fire hose and all this stuff. And, right. And uh, sometimes they let the, the sort of spouses come to the cat cockpit. So we were coming home from Japan, mm -hmm. and some she was in the cockpit, and got to see when the when the when the uh, all those ho houses. Houses, those. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Where did they do that at? That's Alaska. In Alaska? I was, yeah, at that time I was assigned to t Alaska. So you retired with United in Alaska? Yeah. Up there with Sarah Palin, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and she, <laughs> well, she, they, they uh, gave us a bunch of. That's a big deal. Yeah, I, I, I was pretty nice. They let us have a few days to before we went back down in the sound down in the states, and uh, I took an air airplane, sea airplane, and looking around at the bears, we went right up to them, and that was that was tough. And, and she got to do that too, and there was. That was when does it, what's they do that whenever when they when they do the uh, to the race the Everest when they leave when they get to from Anchorage to the um, the other end of the Alaska what are they the dogs dog races Iditarod yeah mm -hmm. Iditarod yeah mm -hmm. yeah. So I got to get involved in that too, and that was certain. That was neat. You've done quite a bit. I was. I got seven, seven cat, seven what, babe? Seven continent, continents. Mm -hmm. Continents. Seven continents. Seven continents. Yeah. Yeah. 
and went around quite a few times with the, the military. In the, but the one the times we stayed in the yeah the the, the uh, and we that when I was in uh, South America, I uh, I was I flew all the way around every city in. This was in, with United. Uh, no, that was Air Force before I got out oh, of the Air okay. Force. Oh, okay. Well, we. <laughs> it's it was good. Good not because between the the shots, the uh, not. I don't know. Well, you had a long career. You had a long career counting what you did in the, yeah. in the Navy ROTC and then in the Air Force, your college experience before you went in the Air Force, uh, United Airlines, and I'm, I'm sure you're enjoying your retirement right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, once I have a few problems. Okay. All right. <laughs> but, yeah. You have anything else you'd like to... How many cruises? Been on a lot of cruises, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Been uh, we uh, let's see. We've been around the around the Pacific, mm -hmm. and one cruise. We had a uh, one. What was when this? That was a seventy-two, and we've been uh, around the seventy-two days. Seventy-two days. Oh, okay. It wasn't. Maybe it wasn't the disease. But, you uh, must love that woman a lot to be with her for 72 days. Oh, she was with me. I know. I was going to say, you must love her a lot to be with her. Oh, there. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We did a lot of good traveling down to Australia and uh, all that stuff. Around uh, Norway. I always thought I was a Norwegian because I like to go to all around the north area of the... Uh, well, Larry, I can honestly tell you I really enjoyed it. No, uh, I enjoyed it too. I'd like to add some more if I could. Uh, <laughs> when I <laughs> when I think Chris, about it. Chris, you got it. anything you'd like to say? He's an adventurer. It's been a, it's been a whirlwind. Been a good run. You did a lot for your country, and uh, uh, yeah. Speaking yeah, but, speaking for them. <laughs> I appreciate it, and I know yeah. the people, a lot of times we as former service members feel like we're not treated correctly or whatever. Uh, yeah. When I came home from Vietnam, it was touch and go. Uh, you stayed in, so you were with I could it. avoid it, uh, uh, that BS. And, <laughs> but, but now I feel like that we as veterans are getting our, our yes. view is what people believe and think of us. Yeah. But I want to tell you on behalf of Sue and the Atlanta History Center, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come and tell us your story. Okay. And I'm sure your children and will too. Yeah. Well, anything you got to, you got? <laughs> Doug, Thor. Uh, yeah, the, the, how does this work now? Is, what, uh, are, are we? Are, you is got there anything, to think, anything Sue? else that you'd like to say? Anything that you thought of while we've been wrapping it up? Well, I could just sort of cap it with the the, the different airplanes I flew. Yes. T thirty four. That's where I. This one, mm -hmm. a KC-97, C-124, C-141, C-11, the 1-118, C-7, T-29, three, uh, T-33, T-39, C-5, uh, D-Sign, Midway, Got. That's enough. Where'd you fly That's enough, huh? <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, Where'd you fly commercially? Where? 
Oh, that was KST. Uh, so you flew several? Oh, that's not on here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I flew from uh, Chicago to uh, Honolulu. And that was. That was with. It was my geez, three three uh, engine airplane, big air, big airplane. DC something. Yeah. 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 What's that? The engines? Yeah. No, it's just three. It ain't. See, it's two. Two on the engines and one on the one on the tail. DC, tail. That's ten, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. You bet. DC ten. That was a good airplane. And United, what did you fly for United? DC ten. Ten. A DC ten mm -hmm. for United. Okay. International. Gotcha. National flying. You hear me saying? Southwest DC nine too. We also flew for Southwest. Wow. No. The first guy that does they didn't fly very much, but uh, we flew with for uh, for United and uh, flew a lot of them down. Start out in California, go up through uh, Seattle, not Seattle, but uh, what uh, New York, mm -hmm. and then what. Over the oh, really beautiful country, <laughs> and then come down through Anchorage, Alaska, and uh, then we took got to we went uh, the Philippines and. I can't say it. Some of them, even though it's it. Um, I like flying. Okay. I think we're okay. I've got one last request. Okay. If you don't mind. Yeah. Do you have your distinguished flying cross citation there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to read it real loud for us, or do you want Ed to? Well. Sometimes our <clears throat> don't want to blow their own horn. Maybe Ed should read it. Should we let Ed read it? Yeah. Okay. This is my... You got it? Well, citation to accompany the award of Distinguished Flying Cross to Larry Garrison. Major Larry Garrison distinguished himself by extraordinary achievement while participating in aer aerial flight of a tactical combat crew member in the Southeast Asia on 17 April 1971. During this time, he displayed courage, professional competence, and selfless devotion to the successful completion of an important combat missions. These distinctive achievements were accomplished while engaged in hazardous operations requiring frequent and repeated exposure to hostile ground fire. While participating in combat resupply mission at Chi Rio, uh, I know that's not pronounced that's it. correctly. That's Rio. Uh, Republic of Vietnam, Major Garrison was requested to land and evacuate the survivors of a camp which had been overrun by the Viet Cong. There was no medical assistance available, and it was imperative that these personnel be transported to a medical facility as soon as possible. Despite hostile fly, fire and marginal weather conditions, Major Garrison successfully landed, unloaded 14 seriously, unloaded, I'm sorry, unloaded 14 seriously wounded combat personnel and evacuated them to the Cameron Bay Hospital. The professional competence and serial aerial skill and devotion to duty displayed by Major Garrison reflect the great credit upon himself and the United States Air Force. Very good. Thank you. You ought to be proud. I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, if I had got uh, blood with the heart, 
the, the it's the only one that's higher than me, mm -hmm. ex, ex, other than then. Uh, Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Larry, yeah. uh don't know whether to call you Major or Lieutenant Colonel or Larry. I think I'll call you Larry. Larry's. I'm Larry. We appreciate you taking the time again. And on behalf of Sue and the Atlanta History Center, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. And how, how can we get uh, any discs or something? We'll talk about that. Let me cut okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.